question for you. Have you ever been scrolling on a website, just looking around, and over to the side you notice that little gray bar, and you think to yourself, wait a minute, what if instead of just being a little gray bar, instead it was a baguette? Because I have. My name is Casey Catalis. I'm a web designer and developer, and I love making stuff. Um, and today, we're making something a little funky. I've seen custom scroll bars on websites before, and I always thought they were really complicated to make. Um, so when I set out to make this, I was like, it's gonna be hard, but that's okay. I'm willing to put in the time. But it turns out it's not. Um, it's not that hard. So I don't think this will be a very long video, if I'm honest. But. Here we go. I'm going to show you what I made and how I made the scroll bar into a baguette. Um, and that might not apply to you, but if you have in your mind an object that you want to turn the scroll bar into, hopefully this will be helpful to you as well. So I'm just going to show you around what I made. I have this thing that looks like beer, but is not beer. Um, it's literally just water. Hydrate yourself as well, and I will show you my, um, my baguette website. My bread site. So, um, this is it. This is, this is all I made. I was honestly gonna make it more intricate and put a bunch of bread puns in here, um, but I ran out of time, so... This site is just bread, just bread. Oh wait, I made a cute, I made a cute little action, interaction right before this video. Let me publish it. Okay, this site is just bread. <laughs> I have too much fun. So the main goal of this site was to make the baguette, the scroll bar, and I accomplished that pretty easily. Um, we got all our pictures of bread. Um, we reach the footer and it goes down to the bottom. Um, I don't know why I love this so much and I find it so delightful, but I think this is just such a great idea for a bakery website. Like, imagine if we were like on here, this is a, a local bakery in Nashville that I love. Like, imagine you were on this site, you know, super basic site, just has, just has regular things going on. But instead of having the scroll bar here on the side, you had a baguette. That would be so much more fun. I love custom scroll bars and I think they look really cool. And I'm gonna show you how I made this one. Let's open up Webflow, let's open it up. Here it is. Um, clearly a very quick tutorial. We got our scroller code up at the top. That's what's controlling this. So what we are interested in here is the custom code that makes the scroller bar. This is not Webflow Interactions. Um, because you do have to target the actual scroller bar in the browser, and I don't think you can do that with Webflow Interactions. You can make scrollers that, like, go alongside with the main one, um, but to, to make something like this, I do believe you need custom code. So, you hop in here, what's going on? Um, the main way to style custom scroll bars is with this webkit dash scroll bar CSS target. Um, so right now it's targeting everything within the body of the whole page. Um, so this first thing is just um, setting how wide it's going to be and also the background color. So you'll notice the background of the site is this kind of beige color. So that is what this style is right here. If I didn't have this in here, this would be white and it would look really weird. So that is why that color is in there. And this width I chose because it is the same width as the bread. I ran into some trouble at the beginning where the bread size wasn't quite right. So it wasn't taking up the full thing. Um, so I had to troubleshoot it a little bit to figure out what was the right size for the bread to scroll bar ratio. I don't know why this is so funny to me. It's just bread. It's really serious. The second thing I use in this is the WebKit scroll bar track property. Um, so this is just the bar right here behind it that the baguette is going up and down. So I have the background color of that is a little bit of a darker brown. We have a radius up top and up bottom. I thought that would just work well with with the roundness of, a, of the bread. Um, and 
I could have made it scroll all the way to the top, but I did want to give it a little bit of margin on top and bottom. So it just kind of didn't touch the very top there. I think it was nice to have a little bit of space. And then this is, this is the most important thing here is the scroll bar thumb is what actually targets the scroll bar thingy itself. That is not a very technical term, but here we are. So the way I did this, and I don't know if this is the way you should do it, Somebody who's better in Webflow can let me know if this is not best practice, but this is how I've been doing it, is I uploaded this picture of a baguette that I cut out of a picture on Unsplash, and I uploaded it to this assets folder here, right over here. And what I did is I hit open asset settings, and I hit, oh, copy link, and then I pasted that link into my scroller code. So the background image CSS is what targets the, the, the background of the scroll bar. So the, the actual image in there. So I, I went and did a little copy paste action into that URL field. And then, oh man, all of a sudden we got a bucket where our scroller used to be. Wild times, cheers to bread. These other CSS properties are just making sure that that image is right where we want it to be and also the size we want it to be. We definitely don't want it repeating. Um, we don't want it all blown up within the frame here and we want it to start at the top and at the bottom um, and do what it's supposed to do. So that's that. And then, and now it's a bread and you could apply this same code to um, any number of things you could put Maybe your site's about lizards. You could put a little picture of a lizard here as he scrambles up and down the page. I don't know why I only think of weird sites. But yeah, I hope you like that. I hope you can find a way to implement it into a project you're working on. Um, and there's lots of other great resources on how to make custom scroll bars. I think there's um, like a whole website fin we did where it's just you can customize your own scroll bar. But this will be a clonable if you want to mess around with this too and maybe add some more bread puns or bread things. I wanted to add more, but I simply did not have the time. Um, so this is all you get here at the bottom. <laughs> so cute. Uh, yeah, that's all there is. I hope you have a great rest of your week and you enjoyed this video and that you um, are good to other people and drink lots of water. Uh, and that's all I got to say. Have a great rest of your uh, day and life. Cheers.